This is a series of tutorials on AWS CLI. In the previous video, we had understood what AWS CLI is and what it is used for and uh, what are the advantages of CLI, okay? In this video, we are going to see how to install AWS CLI on Windows and uh, configure IAM user to start running commands from our local laptop. Okay, so uh, even if you are on Mac OS, the process, like I mean, the process should be very much similar. So you can, uh, instead of downloading the Windows, you can uh, download the Mac OS package. Okay, so first, like I mean, search for to install this in your Windows. Search for AWS CLI on Google and click on this first link. And here you can see download the 64-bit Windows installer. Since I'm on 64-bit, I'm going to download this one. So click on this and it starts to download it. Okay. So once the download is completed, you'll be able to see it here. Okay, now just double click on this one and it's click on next here and accept the terms and click on next, next and click on install. Okay, so it's going to take uh, like a minute or two to complete the ins installing this. So we'll wait for it to install and then come back. Okay, it says that uh, the installation is completed. So let's click on finish. And uh, how do you verify if it is installed correctly or not? So to verify, just open your command prompt and run this command AWS hyphen hyphen version. Okay, so it should be able to show you what is the AWS CLI version that is installed. Okay, so yeah, this command is running fine, which means that AWS CLI is properly installed on our laptop. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to configure IAM users so that uh, we should be able to run the commands on our AWS account. So when we run a command from here, uh, that command should be able to interact with our AWS service, AWS account and perform actions on our account. Okay, so let's see how to do that. So to do that, I have logged into my AWS console and in my console, I'm going to open IAM. So under IAM, click on users and click on create user here and uh, the username, you can give it anything that you want. I'm going to give it CLI user. So you can check this if you want to give this user management console access. I don't want to give it because we are going to use it only for programmatic access. Okay, so click on next and you can add this user to an, any existing group or you can copy permissions. Uh, I'm going to attach the policies directly and I'm going to give this user the administrator access. Okay, so this gives us the full access to this user. Uh, so we should be able to run any command by using this user access. Okay. Um, yep. So once you have done that, click on next. Yeah. But like, I mean, if you want to restrict the permissions, you can, of course, uh, give the only permissions which are required. Okay. So I'm just giving it administrator access for simplicity and click on create user okay so once the user is created you need to uh, like generate the security credentials so if you go here you can click on create access key and it will ask you like what is the use case uh, so my use case is basically cli uh, of course it's giving a couple of alternatives to use aws cloud shell so cloud shell is basically another browser based cli to run the command so if you see here if you click on this one you will be able to like i mean run the commands directly from here as well so since we i mean you can if you are comfortable using this one you can use this aws cloud shell as well this is very easy and quick way to get started uh, to run your aws command so you can like run your commands directly from here as well okay so but uh, so since we want to run like i mean uh, the commands from our local laptop we are going to uh, set it on our local laptop okay so i'm just going to select the cli interface and then click on i understand the recommendations and then next uh, we just need to like give some description tag value here I'm just going to call it cli access and click on create access key so this is the access key and uh, secret access key so it's always good to download it and save it in a safe manner so make sure that you don't uh, like reveal this access key and secret access key because anyone can get access to your account using this okay so once you have created the iam user and uh, created the access keys and secret access key now let's go back to this command prompt and type aws configure here okay 
So when you run AWS configure, it does going to ask you AWS access key ID. Access key ID is this one. I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Okay, then it enter and then it's asking us for secret access key. And I'm going to click on copy here and paste the secret access key here. Uh, please make sure that you don't reveal this access key and secret access key. Of course, I'm going to delete this one after this video. Uh, so that's why I'm revealing it. But yeah, make sure that you don't reveal your access key and secret access key. Okay, so the default region name, I'm going to leave it as US West 2. And the default output format, I'm going to leave it as JSON and then enter. Okay, so now we have configured our AWS IAM user on our local laptop. So using this, we should be able to like, I mean, run any commands uh, on our account and like interact with our AWS account, okay? So let me just show you uh, some sample command and uh, see, show you that it is working fine. Okay, so in my S3, if you see, there is one bucket here. So let's try and list the buckets in my AWS S3, I mean, and see if that works. So to do that, I'm going to write AWS S3 LS and then run that command and see if, it lists the bucket, okay? So if you see, it listed that bucket over here, okay, AWS CLI demo bucket, which is here. So yeah, this was like, just to uh, show you, like, I mean, the configuration is successful and we are able to run the commands on our AWS account. So of course, we'll uh, learn how to write these commands and uh, perform various actions on our AWS account in the coming videos. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you are able to complete the setup. So once you are done with the setup, let's, see how to write the commands and run various commands on our AWS. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.